420, we haven't been in the 400s, have we, on Coinbase since the first day of trading? It's been basically stuck in the 200s. What gets you back up there? Yeah, exactly. It's been stuck in the 200s, been a kind of range bound here. Um, yeah, we, we see it getting back to, to around the, the $400 range on a, on a few reasons here. So one very aggressive listing policy, Coinbase has initiated uh, really kind of a new policy where they're looking to list really any crypto asset that is legal. And that's that's a big way to grow market share on the exchange business. It's something that we saw back with Poloniex in 2015 and 2016 and Binance in 2017 and 2018, which really allowed them to grow market share was to expand those crypto asset offerings. That really drives retail activity to the exchanges is if there's a certain asset that they, that they really need to get their hands on and it's only offered at a few places. So we see that aggressive listing policy pushing that. Also, their expansion outside of just exchange businesses and services, uh, where they're moving into to, to growing that subscription and services vertical with a focus on staking. So in their Q2 numbers, they, they absolutely beat, um, they did a great job growing staking revenue. And we see that increasing as more crypto networks become proof of stake. Um, and that really would push Coinbase to become more so that one-stop shop for crypto financial services um, and kind of push it, broaden it beyond just an exchange business to also include uh, the, the staking rewards, which function like a yield offering, as well as some other yield bearing products, which they're initiating on. Everything you say makes sense and is sound analysis, John, but does it really matter if this company makes these moves grows market share, executes well, if the price of Bitcoin just isn't going straight up? Haven't we already seen that with the stock? It's just tied at the hip with the price? So Coinbase is very much levered to the crypto market prices, uh, and that's because it's still primarily an exchange-focused business. So one, diversifying that revenue stream into staking and some other offerings could support that and allow it to grow as despite where crypto market prices are trading. Uh, but I would add to that, you know, I, I think we're mid-cycle of a continuing bull market in crypto prices. We've seen them recover as, as noted right now. Um, you know, you got Bitcoin back around 48, 49 grand. Solana and some of these other altcoins are actually 2X, their, their previous all-time high seen in May. So on the back of that uptick in prices, as the space continues to grow and more investors come into the space, and there's more product offerings, you're seeing trading volume pick up. And so that's just going to bode well for, for Coinbase through the rest of the year.